Okay, we're back. We're in another section here at SEMA. Uh, we're with Steve again, and uh, Whistler has a whole series of inverters, which you know takes the battery out with a 12 volts high current and, and steps it down so you can run normal household appliances off a of pig. So, Steve, uh, if you would kindly start with the, uh, the level for, I guess, this is the cigarette lighter, and we'll work up to the larger granddaddy ones. Please go right ahead. This one is the 100 watt, used for small appliances. We provide information on the back to let you know what kind of appliances you can run. It plugs into your power port in your vehicle and provides then USB power as well as there is an AC plug outlet for small appliances plug in just like your household. Or like a laptop if you have a laptop or an iPad or iPad, iPad, laptop, whatever. Again, it's an electronic. But pay attention to this, but yes, it's an electronic. Okay. Well, it's got a USB port. Very good. The, the power point socket pivots on a hinge, so it's multi-adjustable. Very good. Well, a lot of times, like new cars today, have one in the like the center glove where that could go, right. on, as opposed to just being tight where the shifter is. That's right. You get a little you bit wherever a power point is, and then again with that adjustment, you can. And, and it's nicely use. vented, no fan or anything like that. Right. 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 See that? Yes. Very good. And what's the price point on this? You know? All right, I'm putting them on the spot. Product development, <laughs> whatever. Uh, we're, we're, we're working on this. This is something you can seem to see at a Best Buy or a, like a, a these, Pep Boys or AutoZone. Are these are available now, yes. Very good. Thank you. Okay. This is an interesting one that uh, Steve was introduced to me. Uh, go, go right ahead. Right. This, this again is a, a 150 watt inverter. Uh, it's round shape, looks kind of like a can, right? Yeah. So it fits in your cup holder. Not all cup holders are made the same. So the base is removable to fit into smaller couplers. It also has the AC outlet, it's got the USB port, the on-off switch. It also transfers the power port that you've plugged into back here for accessibility for other power port Wonderful. And this one is switched. Was that one that switched as well or no? Always on. No, this, this one is not. Okay. This one is. Now I see there's a one and a two. Oh, so this one is actually. One is for the inverter and USB. I see. The other is just for the USB. Very interesting. So two power switches directing the, the function of this, doing both or just the USB. That's right. Very nice. Is this unique in and of itself too with the, uh, with the cup holder? It is. Okay, it is. very good. Nice. Very good. So 200 watt. Again, we're just increasing in size now for capability of, of appliances. So this one again plugs into the power port using a cord. This is board in the packaging. Yes. Yep. And it provides two USBs and an outlet with the same dual switch as the previous one. Right. And then there's two switch, uh, two two point switch, USB only. Both. That's right. Very good. That's the XP 200i. This was the XP 100i. Right. All right. We've got the 400 watt here. All right. The 400 watt. Again, just increasing capacity. It provides two plugs, two USBs. The size is actually Similar. just a little bit bigger. You see the difference here for the extra outlet. Now I see this is more going to the battery directly for that additional plug. That's right. This one you can go either. You go to the battery or it comes with a cable that you can plug into to get your power. Okay. Very good. Both of the leads connect to the Nice. Now we're getting up to the larger ones. This is the daddies. This is going to be the grand. We missed one here. We've got me. the 600 watt. This one we also refer to as the tailgater. Um, we, we had tailgating in mind when we did this. It's got protective rubber feet, so if you're setting it on your tailgate, you don't want to scratch the paint. Uh, it's got a little carry handle. It's also a cable bale if you want to store the cable around it. This particular one is intended to be hooked up to your truck or car battery, so if you're out at the tailgate party with your Group, Football right? season right, right now. You know? Right now, perfect time. Yeah. It provides six outlets for powering your uh, devices as well as two USB ports in the same dual switch. Fabulous. I'm just going to get this in. Eagles fan, Philadelphia. Okay. Well, there you go. You know what I mean? Perfect. <laughs> Great. That, that likes it. all the teams. There you go. Excellent. You got that. Let me step up to the uh, 800 watt. And I like your product naming scheme here. Uh, the the 800, you know, the numbers correspond to the. the okay. And is this the true power outage effectively, or yes. what? What it rate? Okay, very nice. 
All right. Go ahead now. And same, same type of, of things we've been talking about, providing the AC power. You've got the cables that connect directly to the battery. And this one does not go both ways. This, this one does not, right. right. This, this, one, this one is strictly battery. And I, I like this too. You can do quick clamping and disconnecting. That's right. So it's still, you get the convenience of you know, quick connecting and right. taking it off. So you see that? Very nice. Is it long enough? I guess you'd have it outside the vehicle then, right? Typically. It is long enough. I mean, depending on how far you want to move it. Um, you are restricted on the length that you can use based yes, on the, the current. Right. right, got it. That okay. okay. Very good. In German cars, a lot have, the, as, you, as I know, they have the uh, battery in the in the, 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 the bonnet. Bon bon no, the boot. Part. Oh, the then stepping up bigger yet is twelve hundred. And now I start to see you have digital display here. That's right. The digital display has more outlets, more output. It also has a remote capability. And the remote meaning what? This is like an RJ11? You can control this remotely. We have a wired in remote control that you can turn it on and off with. Wow. And, and now this is fan now? Is this fan. the first one that has the fan? No, these are these are all fan cool. I see. Very good. So fans right here on that one. Pardon me. That's all right. That's nice. And then obviously still connected directly to the battery, of course, as we're getting up in size. Yep. Got a little bit of weight to it. It does. And I like that. Sturdy, solid. Okay. And this is, I guess, the XP1200i. Is that how that, that would that work? Very simple. That's great. Good deal. And then it's just, we've got the 1600. Same, same intended operation, just right. more capacity. We've got the 2000. And then the, the biggest of the ones that we have is the 3000. So we go from very small for light light duty small appliances to the 3000, which would run like small refrigerators, things Matt, like that. Can I tell just a brief story? You know, we had a really brutal winter uh, last year, right? We lost power, I think, for a week. Okay, and you know, when you lose power, you're not prepared like my wife and I. You want to run out to the store and get generators, and everybody's get got generators and you can't get them. So we had to run basic appliances like a uh, refrigerator. We didn't lose all our food. So I got the car, got the gas, went in there, got a product like these, ran it, and ran an extension cord, and we were able to preserve our food in the refrigerator. So it's actually like a survival thing. Okay? Thank you. We'll move on then. All right. Thank you.